Day seven, boiled egg. Today, all my hopes were set on a simple boiled egg. After having tried the eggs, fried, poached, scrambled, hard boiled, Benedict, in spite of a daily and exhaustive lingual stimulation that goes from the fungi form papillae to the circumvallate, in spite of even a tireless curiosity for exploring complex connections between my neurons and my taste buds, today all the tests lead me to a terrible conclusion. I have definitely lost my sense of taste. I cannot remember the taste of an apple of a tomato, or of bread with jam and butter. And I come back to the sweetest moment of my childhood, the flavor of summers at my grandmother's house. And I try to remember the smell of that corridor and family stories come to my mind, whispered in a low voice. Worryless, warm afternoons with cakes, bread, and butter. And without knowing exactly how, I remember that summer that my Uncle Frown, the only one in the family that had made money, invited me to spend a month in the Costa Brava. He's made it far by working hard, I remember everyone saying that. I also remember that the first time I tried oysters, I thought they tasted like the sea. But I cannot remember the name of that boy that could have been anyone, nor my own salty flavor. And suddenly, without notice, the most bitter memory comes into my mind. That rainy night in that hotel where I don't even want to mention your name. And now, I want to forget inside the memory, even though I don't know if that's even possible. But I try to, anyway. And I think it's strange how we can remember some things and forget others, and how memories and flavors group together on the left side of the brain. And I ask myself if there's a place, real or imaginary, where you can return to find pure and original flavors. And I think that if it does exist, I would like to go there and try new flavors, to keep some and to forget others. Believe me when I tell you You're two in the clouds